So, you like pina coladas and getting caught in the rain? That is very interesting. You should add that to your Tinder profile bio. Hey guys, I'm back. That's by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we're back once again taking a look at how to make these striped material kind of thing. We've done this in the past, but it was a long, long time ago. So, we're going to do it again once again today because I've had a couple people asking me um, to, to do it again. So, we're, we're doing it again. Here, here we are. We have a circle. This is a UV sphere, so that's Shift A, search, and then UV uh, sphere. I just added a sub uh, division mod sub subdivision modifier, um, which is just in the modifier tab. Add modifier and subdivision surface, and then I just turned on object shade smooth. Now you're back to where we are right now. I'm gonna put our cursor in the top left hand, and it's gonna turn into a little plus, and then we're gonna drag our, our window into two. Now I'm gonna go ahead and change this one over here to the shader editor. As you can see, this little button right there. Boom. Drag this off to the side, and as you can see, I'm going to hit this little drop down and select material. And now you can see we have this principal VSDF shader, which is what this is. So let's go to um, rendered viewport shading. Actually, let's go to material, sorry, material viewport shading. And then we, let's go ahead and go back over here, hit shift A, and search for a color ramp uh, node. Plug the color into the color of the principal BSDF. And then we can go ahead and do two more things. Hit shift A and search for a texture coordinate node and hook the actually sorry and then actually hit shift a and search for a mapping node there you go and then hook the generated of the uh texture coordinate into the vector of the mapping and the vector of the mapping into the color ramp so there you go it should look like this once you're done um looking nice and good there you go so now you can see nothing's literally changed at all um or so you think but when we go ahead and change this from linear to constant and then drag this white back you can see that there's now some sort of like dual tone color thing going on this is really good for making eyes or irises as you can see like you can just do this like a pupil that looks really cool really easy to do as well but for today we're going to be doing um some some uh, stripes so let's go ahead hit this little plus button to add in another color we're going to make this one a white color so just uh, click this little box here and then just drag it all the way up um, and then we'll just move this black one over there so that it's now white so now you can see that we have stripes So you can just hit this little plus button over and over again until um, You have as many of the colors as you want Which obviously is just gonna be a bunch of white and black and white and black and white and black And it's just it's literally that easy. There you go. So that is the uh, the stripes right there now um, I move this like that and that looks good. There you go. So those are literally the stripes. That's literally how you do it and it's so much fun. The cool thing is, is that uh, you have a bunch more customization with how they're rotated. If you go ahead and use the rotation on the um, mapping, or you can use the location. Uh, well, that doesn't really work too well. I mean, you can move it up and down like that or back and forth like that. But I would recommend just using the um, rotation on um, <laughs> rotation on the mapping node here. It's much easier to kind of control and you can still move some things around and then you can move it down like this, you know, and then move it around. You know, position it how you want it to be positioned, or you can just literally rotate the sphere if you want to do it that way as well. But I hope you, ladies and gentlemen, enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye bye.